everyone. Hey. Um, so I'm really sorry. I don't know what's happened to Trev. I've sat here and waiting and I he's not even come on. So I I don't know whether you just want to chat with me. Um we can just chat and hopefully he'll be here. It is three o'clock in the morning there, so it's very possible that he's fallen asleep and he's forgotten to wake up. Um, I'm really, really sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. Um, and I hope this is not disappointing. Well, I'm guessing it's going to disappoint you. So we can just chat. We can just chat for a minute and um, and hopefully, hopefully he'll set his alarm and he'll 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 be here. So um I'm just really, really sorry. <laughs> um, I've just tried calling him, um, but I guess I'm wondering that uh, he may have fallen asleep. He's probably knackered, bless him. Um, so let's just chat. <laughs> um, oh, thank you, Shabby. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Zephyr. Uh, hi, Jody. Um, so hey, everyone. So hopefully he will wake himself up and join the chat. Um, so has anyone, well, let's, what should we talk about? What should we talk about? So, uh, so let's have some discussion points. Ah, uh, Lisa, did he post that he was sleeping before it? Okay. Yeah. I'm guessing that's what it is. I'm betting he slept through his alarm. Um, hey everyone. Hey Simba. Hey Serendipity, Anna, Jane, Amanda. Um, so what can we talk about? I know Catherine, how dare he? It's like, we're all waiting for him. <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping at some point he'll wake up and pop into the guest so then I can add him to the, the chat. So um, how has my day been? Um, it's uh, It's been busy. I've been working today. I have done a video. So I'm probably going to put that up over the weekend. It's the part four of uh, of the um, the interview. Oh, I don't you can't even call it an interview, really, can we? Um, Brenda, welcome, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Bubble family. Um, Tuppence, do you think Megs is acting crazy so she can't testify in court? Well, um, very knowing knowing her. Let's face it, everything is an agenda. So absolutely, possibly that there's there's going to be a reason why she doesn't want to appear in court. Um, but I don't know with her because let's face it, she went to court. Well, she didn't go to court last time, but she got away with everything last time. So who knows? How is the weather? It's cooling down here. It's still a bit humid, but it's it's cooling. It's cooling down. Thankfully, um, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, Judy, I know. Bloody Liberty. Waiting for the ginger beetroot. <laughs> yeah, he did look very pink, didn't he? Um, <laughs> my week, Kate, has been pretty good. It's been pretty busy. And guess what, Bubbles? We're at 18,000. 18,000 subscribers. I think, is it yesterday? I woke up and I I was like, oh, 18. And so I come on the chat and the people are like, Ems, 18, 18. I was like, yes, we're getting there. We're getting there. Amanda, I can't have HRT. I spoke to my doctor yesterday and because of my condition that I've got, uh, because I'm prone to blood clots, I can't have HRT. But I was speaking to Murky Meg, who says hi to everybody. I was speaking to Murky Meg and she said, let me get this right, edamame beans, apparently because it has a really good source of estrogen in them. So I'm going to try those. I'm going to try those. Marlene, hello. I know. I know. 18K, guys. We we did it. We did it. With everything that went on last year, we finally pushed through and we did it. So thank you to everyone who is supporting the channel. Um, Tuppence, has got a farmer's tan. He has, without the work. <laughs> um. I see any queen. Do you think Ragland is breaking down? Her behavior seems to be getting worse. Well, this is what happens with a narcissist. Their ego just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And what you have is that she's got away with everything. She believes she's got away with everything. So she thinks she's untouchable. Um, so this is what we're seeing here. She's literally being left to her own devices. And uh, now we're seeing the fallout from that. Um, Elizabeth, just watched Dan Wharton's interview with, um, yes, I saw that too. And this is where her downfall is going to be, because let's be honest, a lot of her fan base is 
people of color. So now, not only she insulted South Africans, she's insulted Nelson Mandela. So this is going to be huge now because people are going to be kind of, well, we we can't support this, you know, because obviously he's 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 iconic. He's a absolute pillar in their community. So to compare herself to this is absolutely crazy. What was she thinking? Well, she clearly wasn't. Um, hello, everyone that's joining. 228 people already in the chat. Please, please, please give this a like, please. Um, and I'm sorry, guys, if you don't know, um, I was waiting for Trev. I think he's fallen asleep and I think he's forgotten to set, either set his alarm or he slept through his alarm. One of the two. Um, it's Ed, Jean, it's Edame beans. Apparently, Murky says if you boil them in water, then you pop them out of the skins, put a bit of butter, a bit of salt and pepper, and apparently they taste a bit like popcorn. Um, so you can put them in salads and things like that, but apparently it's a really good, um, if you can't have HRT, apparently they're really, really good. So I'm going to trust that she's telling the truth and I'm going to try them. Um... And yes, narcissists do believe the lies that they tell because they believe that it's everybody else's fault. So now what we're seeing is that she cannot blame race now. She cannot blame race. She cannot blame the media because we're seeing what she's saying. So she cannot blame the media. She cannot blame race. So what I'm assuming now is what she'll do is she'll blame the royal family and she'll blame Harry. The Daily Beast, yeah, everyone is turning against her. Um, and Murky Meg is doing is doing well. She's on the mend. Um, she did her video yesterday. She's doing really well. Bless her heart. She's 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 doing great. She's doing great. Yes, she's definitely in the devalue stage. I'm just seeing if I missed something. Just going. Who's seen Tom Michaels? Uh, Maureen, yes, he's he is quite funny. I'm allergic to soy. Oh, Sherry, are you? Okay. Um, well, I don't know if there's anything else. I, I don't know if anyone else has got any ideas in the comments. Yeah, exactly, Zephyr. She she literally cannot, she doesn't know where she's going. She's all over the place. One minute, oh, it's it's because of race. And now it's, oh, no, sorry, hang on a minute. It's because I'm American. What What is it? Oh, ne you know, oh no, it's because I'm a woman. What is it going to be next? Yes, exactly. If MM considered herself biracial, she would never have gone there. Absolutely. Absolutely. I know he's probably, I think he's, he's flying. I, I believe he's flying home tomorrow. So he's, he's probably absolutely exhausted. Um, if she's, uh, yes, Amanda, I believe this is, they have done the perfect, and this should show you guys how to deal with certain bullies. If you ignore 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 now i'm not saying that you don't you can't say say one thing but if you ignore eventually they will undo themselves they will undo themselves because that the, and they have done it the perfect way they have let her do it because if they'd have stepped in they would have been blamed so um just checking belinda if she's black man in the royal family she will uh, Will she ever, she will ever be leech, Belinda? Well, yes, but it's very possible, very possible that there's something going on behind the scenes. Because like I've said, I don't believe they're together. I genuinely don't believe they're together. And I think this is why we're seeing her pushing the princess aspect pushing Meghan Markle she's pushing this or but she's still using her titles but she's pushing going out on her own to see how this works and of course she's now going to be realizing that actually it doesn't it hasn't worked no one's interested uh Sherry Kelt did a video on her first hubs and child yesterday um is this her first husband and her her alleged child see I'm going to be honest I don't necessarily it's a difficult one with this because if this child is a real child i feel that this should be off limits now the reason even i talk about um Murchie and lily is because a i don't believe lily exists i'm going to be genuinely honest here i don't i think what could potentially be happening is that she'll be looking for um 
uh, an ado to adopt a child. This is why we're not seeing anything of the child. So they'll give it enough. She'll give it enough time, and then she'll find a child that might fit the criteria, and then she'll she'll adopt this child and present this child as Lily, possibly. Um, so I, at this moment, I'm not sure I believe, or she is with the surrogate and perhaps no connection to the royal DNA. I don't know. Or she's Harry's. But that picture that we saw, don't believe that's her for a second. Now, Murchie, I think, I believe, is in the UK. I believe the Murchie was a either with a person that Harry had a relationship with and she fell pregnant or a surrogate. So I believe that Murchie's in the UK. Now, the thing is, they, they're very young children, but this alleged girl, she's older, so she's going to know things. So I think we have to be very mindful of the, of, of the children because these, these people are innocent. They're, they're, they're not part of this show. Um, people are complaining about Spotify putting Megan in the first spot. They don't believe it. Well, of course, a lot of people don't. But let's be clear, this is why she has famous people on her podcast if you imagine if if rachel was interviewing just someone uh just uh, just an average person like us and she was talking to people it wouldn't go anywhere it would i don't think it would go anywhere the only reason she utilizes these pretend friends that she's got is because she gets their fan base so i think the first podcast i think the reason why it potentially could have got to number one is because everybody tuned in to listen to it because it's a car crash not because they want to listen to what she has to say but you would have had serena's fan base you would have had the five people that are megan's fan base then you would have had every journalist every some of us not me but some of us because i got mine from harry's markle's uh, wordpress um would have tuned in to just listen to the amount of lies she's telling now what will happen is then the next one, the next one, the next one are going to do less, 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 less and less. And in the end, it's going to be nothing. And yes, he probably is. On, uh, Tuppence, do you think she will show at Manchester next week? Uh, yes, purely and simply either. Well, it's a difficult one because of the backlash from this. So it's possible that she'll make some excuse like I've got to stay home with the uh, with Casper and, uh, and the other one, possibly. But... If she thinks that she can milk it for to get some brownie points, then yes, she'll she'll turn up because you know I think like a barnacle, she's still she wants to be still linked to the royal family. Joe, I laugh when Mariah called her a diva. She did not like that. She did not like being called a diva, and you knew this because you saw you literally heard her go, "What? I don't align myself with that. What me? Uh, me? Uh, what?" Why would you call me a diva? And then she had to then add the little bit, which I bet was edited at the end, where she needed, she felt the need to explain what Mariah meant. And it's, no, it's not that she thought I was a diva. It was the clothes that I wear. Oh, of course it was. I, what? <laughs> what? It's not the clothes that you wear, because no offense, you don't look like a diva in the clothes that you wear. You're a diva because you're a diva. And at least Mariah owns it. <laughs> it was just, it was just brilliant. It was just brilliant. I was like, yes, Mariah. I'm not a huge fan of hers, but I was like, in this moment, I kind of love you. Um, just tracing back some comments, peoples. Um, oh Lordy. Um Gil. Do narcissists recognise the behaviour of narcissists in others? Um, yes, potentially, yes, they can do. They won't like them because narcissists will both be vying for attention. Um, but yes, they, they absolutely can do. That's why they wouldn't stay in each other's company for too long. And they, it's interesting because they would call out narcissism in somebody else. But if someone then said, but hang on a minute, that's how you behave, they would not agree with you. They would not agree with you in any shape or form. Uh, narcissists do not have friends with other narcissists. They will utilize them like they do everything else, but they will not be friends with another narcissist. Not in the way that we have friendships. Oh. <sighs> 
Hey, Jerry. Gerald. Gerald. Is it Gerald? Gerald. Hey, Kit. Dave. Hello. Hello. Um, why do the media still support her? Well, Sonia, it's clickbait. It's it's sim it, because for the media, everything is money, and even though she is not liked, she still is clickbait because people click on the articles. The media are partly well. In fact, I think the media are, are very much responsible for a lot of the things that we see now because they are in in a way encouraging it. If they stopped, I mean, because people say to us, stop talking about her. But the way I view that is no, because what we don't want, we don't want our young children, our young girls growing up thinking that she's a good role model. We don't want our young men growing up thinking Harry's a good role model. So we, it's down to us to call out the lies because the media don't, because she's clickbait to them. People click on, it gets them money. It's pure and simple. It's nothing else. spangles and the best bit is she said this is her real self yeah exactly she's literally thrown herself right in the ring by going this is me no filters no not through the the lens of the oh, i really hate that term the lens of the media hi this is me well yeah we're seeing the real you now <laughs> oh, oh yeah Edda maybe. Thank you, Jean. Yes, that's exactly how it is spelt. The media is anti-royal. A lot of the, yes, it seems, but they are turning. They are turning now. She has really done it this time and we knew she would. Um, Gail, UK, I take menopause support from A. Vogel. Okay, that's great. If any of you have any great uh recipes or anything that you would like me to share to do with menopause I'm happy to do that and I will put everything in the description box below because you know we're all a lot of us are in this now and it's uh it's not great um Rachel seems to be becoming more manic she does because this is what happens with a narcissist when you just leave them to just do what they do and this is her kind of coming undone now where are the kids? Well, good point. I, again, I think they are either with, if these children are real, which, what's just gone off? Oh, my light's just gone off. I don't know why that is. Hang on one second, guys. I was like, wait, what's just happened? <laughs> hang on, hang on, caller. <laughs> hang on why has my light just gone off what's happening i don't know what's happening my light is literally isn't it typical it's just one of those things my light's just broken well oh who's just who's just super something me whoever that was p p p p thank you very much it's very kind of you i'm going to find your name the royal family have a lot more on her than she has on them. And they've got, yes, because don't forget that there's no way the MI, MI5 or whoever it was would not have literally stripped that and, and let it go poof. It's off the internet, so we can't find it. But don't think for a second that they don't have it. Amanda, yes, it was. S. Beck, hello. Hello to Calgary, Canada. Yes, Joe, it was a step too far. Absolutely. Oh, Elaine, really? The bullying claims may be made public. Well, yes. And, and let's be honest, that's the reason why they were hidden. Because if there was nothing there, if, the, if she was completely innocent, the royal family would have released it. They would have said, look, we've done our research. We've looked into this. We've, we've, we've done our due diligence. And this is the proof that she didn't actually bully anybody. The fact that they've hidden that away, it's because they don't want to make the situation worse. So that is why they've done it. So in a way, silence speaks volumes, volumes. Brenda, exactly. Give them enough and they will absolutely do that. And this is how you play them back at their game. You don't get into conflict with them. You don't um, get involved in their drama, you step back 
you step back and you let them do what they need to do because eventually people will start seeing the truth. Anna Perkins, please don't apologize for being late. Will Trev be joining? Well, he was meant to be here, but I think Trev has fallen asleep. And uh, so, yes, unfortunately, there is, it's just little old me tonight, little old me. Uh, I'll email details of Victoria. Kate, thank you. That's great. Thank you very much. And then what I'll do is I'll put everything in the chat. So if anyone wants any info, it will be in the chat. I'm really sorry. I'm trying to work out what's happening to my light. I don't know what's happened. I've just gone into darkness. Ooh, wonder what. Is she listening? <laughs> um, Tuppence, I bought the domain Princess Henry Mount. Did you? For reals? That, ooh. Ooh, did you? Interesting. Interesting. Oh. Uh, Sherry, I don't think Samantha will call her on it due to the child's feelings, not trying. To... No, and I would agree. I would agree. I think it's the one thing that perhaps we may never know the truth about this, this one. And we may never know the truth about because I think, unfortunately, I'm wondering, because if this is the case, then the royal family have to know. They have to know. I will get to that. I'm going down the thing. I will get to whoever's done these super chats. Um, how difficult would it be to remove their titles? Well, it's it's not necessary that it's difficult. It, it can be done because it's been done. It's a matter of... Um, parliament and the queen however i think because of the queen's age i think this is why they haven't done anything i i have a feeling that as soon as charles is king i think their titles are going to go i really really do i just have it i feel it in my bones i feel it in my bones that he is going to this is why he's gone on about the slim down monarchy i think he is going to strip them of their titles and I think the only reason they haven't is because the Queen has a fondness for Harry and I don't think she want, they want to upset her in her twilight years. Would they still be in line for the throne? I, I think, yeah, oh, I, I think yes. I, I, I think if he's taken out of the line of succession, no. Um, I believe if if there was another child, then I think he's he's also pushed down and then that's, he's kind of out in a way. But if they're out of the line of succession, then I believe then no, they are not. But I I I don't ever see this this happening. Amanda Hummus. It oh is hummus good for? Oh is it? I love hummus. I didn't know that. Of course, chickpeas. Of course. Why did I not know this? Um, thank you, Amanda. Marlene, didn't the Queen meet Lily? Well, of course we're being told this, but I do not believe that the Queen, there's been no official statement. I think, I don't think any of the royal, the, the royal rota are, or have said anything. Obviously we've had people saying, I think Lady C, but I don't believe she did because I'm sorry, but if Lily was here, we would have seen her. There is no way that Rachel would have gone to that window and not produced the children. If Lily was here, then we wouldn't have got the photoshopped fake photograph that she was that she produced the next day to try and take the limelight from Louis. There is no way they would not have produced the children. They were not here. They weren't on any of the flight manifests, nothing. They weren't here. So what I think is I think they just allowed the illusion of Lily meeting meeting the Queen, but I don't think she did. Because I also don't think that the, the Queen would have been... The Queen isn't a spiteful woman. So I don't think that she would have said, well, I'm not having a, a photograph of my of my with my granddaughter. I don't think she would have done that. I think if Lily was here and they had a photograph, I think it would have got released. Maybe not at the Jubilee, but maybe afterwards. And we've seen nothing. Yes, Bauer said Harry's daughter. Yes, which means then, if it is, then that's not her DNA. So again, it's possibly a surrogate with just Harry's DNA. Let's, but let's face it, the, I don't believe the children are with them because they do not act like parents. They don't act like parents. It's simple. 
Helen, they are supposed to taste like buttery popcorn, apparently. And if they don't, then we're blaming Murky Meg because that's what she said. <laughs> 30, Helen, wait, what, 30 years? HRT for 30 years? Wait, are, someone, are we saying that this could go on for 30 years? What? Well, that's not right. Julie, hey, you can purchase views on Spotify. Of, well, of course you can. And it's very possible they've done this. Let's face it. We know, we know that this can happen. What makes you think the children may not be theirs? I'm not saying that they're not theirs. I don't think they're hers. But it, there's very possible that I think the first one is either a surrogate or have someone that Harry slept with. I have a theory because I think... You know, that when all these rumours come out about William being unfaithful, I think it was Harry. I think it was Harry. I think it was Harry. And this is alleged, my opinion, but I think it was. I think it was a deflection and I think it was Harry. And it's possible that he got somebody pregnant and to create this illusion, they then made it so she was pregnant. Um, and I think that this, that yeah, I mean, it's a long story. I will do a video on it, but this is my theory. Could you put it past them into no that, that you're dealing with a megalomaniac narcissist and a sociopath? This is what I believe, and so unfortunately, I hate to say it, but no, um, they could very very much invent something to create them to be a victim, and and this is why I be honest, I think the miscarriage story happened. I, this is why I think she did it because most people. Let's be honest, most people, and certainly in my professional experience, I have never heard of somebody who's had a miscarriage that has decided to put it public, whether it be before, even when social media, just, just even put an ad in the paper, put it on social media. No, I'm, I, so I don't believe, I don't believe her. Um. Helen, I heard the other night she has had it as bad as murky. Um, I'm not sure who we're talking about there, but murky, yes, yeah, she has had it pretty bad. The sunshine sack seems to be, <laughs> yeah. I think if you can afford it, let's buy up all the post-divorce names she might try to use. Well, we definitely know that she's going to put princess in there somewhere. Uh, Black Cohosh, I do take that, Helen, and I have to say it does help. It has, even though I get warm, it hasn't, it, I, I'm not dripping. Um, so that has really helped me. So the people that have recommended that, <laughs> I say I love you. What's, ja, what, Silva, Sylvia, what's, what's Ja 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 5? What, what, what's this? Right. Right, Diane, thank you. Um, yes, thank you, Diane. Uh, please press the like button, my lovelies. Um, I feel like I'm missing the person and I can't find the P person that put a donation in. I'm really sorry, I can't find... Ah, oh, Patricia, there you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Thank you. Uh, Gil, you're very welcome. Ah, oh, Erin, happy birthday. I can be, a, I, trust me, trust me, trust me, I can be a diva on my birthday. My mum will totally agree with this. I'm a, I'm a big baby. I do not like house presents. Well, unless it's something I specifically want for the house. Um, I don't really like smellies. So I'm, I'm, yes, I can be a bit of a diva on my birthday. I'm not ashamed to admit it. <laughs> uh, Queenie, good evening. Uh, her doctor, yes, yes, he was. He was um, the doctor where the one that shut down the clinic. Yes. He was connected to um, surrogacy. Diane, what does she have to forgive the royal family for? Exactly, 
Exactly. Nobody knew who she was before Suits. Nobody. Maybe a little bit of her fan base. And I'm sorry, apparently she had three million subscribers on um, Instagram. Uh, well, I'm going to call BS on that because we all know that um, apparently you can buy subscribers on Instagram. So I'm sorry, I don't believe she had this many. Knowing how obsessed she is with her image and seeming popular, it's not a far stretch to think that she, she didn't buy some of those subscribers. Um, but nobody knew who she was. And the fact that she's attacking the very family that, that have literally given her the platform to be able to have these magazine pretend interviews and the podcast is just unbelievable and just shows how out of touch and how much of an egotistical maniac she is. Leslie, I wonder what the Spencers make of Megan. Oh, well, I bet they're having a good laugh on that one. I mean, let, and let's be honest, there's no way, there is no way that she loves Harry. And even though we know that narcissists don't don't love any anyone apart from themselves but you would not do this to your husband she literally monopolized a lot of the media on the anniversary of diana's diana's death she literally wore something to look like or try to look like diana even though she looked incredibly menacing she looked more like wallace simpson and elizabeth holmes which is why i put that on the thumbnail um but in her mind, she, she, I think she wanted to even eclipse Diana. I think she wouldn't even let Diana have the limelight. But you wouldn't do that to your husband. You just wouldn't. There's no way, no way that you would do that to your husband. Um, kids, author Dave, is this the beginning of the end for Megan? Yes, I do believe it is. I think I really do believe it is the end coming to the end for her. I, I think this is she's outdone herself this time. So I, I don't know how she's going to really come back from this because, and I think, which is, I, and I will put this, and I have put this in the video for tomorrow. See, I think the Nelson Mandela thing is payback for the UN speech that Harry did because that was on Nelson Mandela Day. She wanted to be involved in it and he said no. So I think this was her way of saying, I'm going to let everyone know that I'm more popular than you, Harry, because let's face it, she was she was literally clutched to Harry's hip at that uh, premiere of The Lion King. When when was she off on her own? Where this person who has now come out and said didn't even speak to her. Um, so when is this supposed to have happened? But she's done this to say I'm more popular than you, Harry. And in fact, the South Africans think that I'm just as popular as Nelson Mandela because she knows that South Africa is very, very popular with Harry. They love Harry. And this is what she's done. I think this is all narcissistic revenge. Everything a narcissist does is to get back at somebody who's wronged them. And this is what she's doing. Yeah, Kurt, she's her own downfall. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Lido, I don't know if the truth will ever come out, Ari, the children, because... Um, I think the royal family must know something. There is no way this could have gone the way it's gone without them knowing something. So unfortunately, and I don't want to think ill of the royal family, but they have to be involved in this. There's just no way that they could get away with this without them not knowing. She looks drained and she looks drugged up in the main photo. She looks sinister, doesn't she? She looks really sinister. Um, and I, I agree with that. I agree with that. She really does. Um, she doesn't look warm. And I mean, Diana just, I mean, I know Diana wasn't perfect. She did court the media and she, she certainly wasn't innocent. But she had a warmth. You could tell she when she was with, you know, the, the, her, the children, the people that she she was she worked with or the, the charities and just everyday people. There was a warmth about her that was genuine. You felt that she was not a narcissistic uh, personality type. Now, she might have had the odd narcissistic trait. A lot of people, high profile people do. But she certainly wasn't didn't have narcissistic personality disorder. 
uh, and her genuine warmth with with just everyday people was just there for the world to see and that is why she has the love still today is because of that and that is something Megan will never ever have and that bothers her because the person that's coming Alexa we're not speaking to you um the person that's coming up to to be in a way better because she doesn't call the media is Catherine and I think and I think this is Megan's jealousy of Catherine that we're seeing a lot of which is why she copied the princess story why she does a lot of the things that she's doing because she is so jealous of Catherine Misty she needs to be in a straight jacket well the way it's going um, Karma Collective. Well, Megan was popular as a child. Everyone knew her from the Sizzlers. <laughs> was that when I said Twizzlers? Is it Twizzler, Twizzlers salad bar? So, it sounds like a Twizzlers salad bar sounds like um, one of those, um, I don't know, is, is it strip, strip joints or something? <laughs> um, yeah, she does look like Elizabeth Holmes. I would agree with you. I would agree with you. Oh, who's who's had a Claire M? Have I missed something? Claire M. Someone just said sorry, Claire M. Sorry for your loss. Claire, have you have you lost somebody, Claire? I'm just going back to see. Oh, Claire, you miscarried twins. I am so sorry about that. So Claire, do you agree with me that you wouldn't have even thought about putting something like this on social media? It's such a private thing. Now, I'm not saying that you wouldn't want to maybe empathise with other women that have gone through this or or or, or, or empathising with someone, parents even, that have lost a child, um, even if it's not a miscarriage. You, The thing is, she, you know, she put it on social, me uh, social media, she put it on public media, she really made it all about her and not really mentioning Harry that much, but wrote it, like I say, like a weird, strange Barbara Cartland novel. It just wasn't authentic and you could see it wasn't authentic. Yes, we, uh, Wetikapedia, yes, we, yeah, they're, they're very, very similar to the point where I truly believe that Elizabeth Holm got herself pregnant because I think she thought it would make a difference with the court case. Because unfortunately, that is exactly what narcissists will do. They will do anything to protect themselves um, and they won't care who the fallout is. Exactly, Karma. That's exactly exactly my point. I mean, I mean, I think years and years and years and years down the line, you might talk about it. Like this lady's mentioned it here. You know, you might kind of talk about your experience because you'd want to maybe help other women. I get that. But this was, according to her, this was a few months, few months after. I think she saw the Chrissy Teigen thing. I think she saw that Chrissy Teigen got so much attention and she thought, well, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to copy that. Uh, Je you literally, Jeannie, you just said exactly literally what I just said. Absolutely. You're, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Uh, great minds think alike. Um, and I think that's it's it. She and this is someone who, who doesn't watch the media. I don't watch the media. I don't watch the media, but seems to know everything there is to know about the media. And so she knows exactly what's coming. Exactly. Exactly what's going on. Um, Ger Gerald, do I believe the new man rumor for MM? I think she would have been unfaithful before now because unfortunately not this is this is this is a, a pattern for her so it's very possible that she would have been unfaithful and it's possible that even harry's been unfaithful because like i said i don't believe they're in this loving relationship um karma she, sorry i just saw karma she only stripped on yachts hi <laughs> um so i think that the only way that she's going to i believe have get somebody else another man is going to be somebody that doesn't care about her, who she is. So they're either somebody that's very much like her that could, or someone that believes that she's a victim, does believe her story, because let's be honest, she's probably got still a few little people out there still believing her. I think it might be an older man that she can 
love bomb, manipulate, but he's going to be money, money, probably more money than what he's going to be a billionaire. And I, that I think is possible, very possible. Yes, exactly, Donna. See, we are in tune, Bubbles. We are in tune. Literally everything I'm saying, you're coming out and saying it as well. We are so in tune. We really are. Tyler Perry. No, I genuinely don't think Tyler Perry likes her. Uh, I think he did this as a favour to Oprah, but I don't think he likes her because I think he gave her a little bit of shade um, on her birthday because didn't he put a picture of a young her with all her curly uh, hair and everything? And I think he gave her a little bit of shade. Um Lido, I wish all people had, I apparently I've heard that they've all had a lot of them signed when she married. I think they had to sign NDAs uh, or something to say that they would never speak out about her. So it's possible. I don't know how long if there's a lifespan, whether it's 10 years or something like that. I don't know whether there's a way that you can do something. And I think that's possibly why they've not spoken out. Bill Gates, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um joe if you're a bloke you must be mad to go with her um yeah yeah because she, she's treated every single man that she's been with she's treated terribly absolutely terribly um so i i think yeah absolutely i'm really sorry it's gone really dark guys i don't know why my light is oh wait did i not plug it in oh no Oh no, it's okay. I thought I was really embarrassing myself then. I thought I hadn't plugged my light in. But I had. It's obviously broken. Oh, I've got to get myself some new lights. Oh, bother. Um, I said, yes, I think it's going to be an older man and it would be a billionaire. And I think that is the only, but it didn't someone say that is it Rupert Murdoch was apparently oh see oh my gosh what is going on <laughs> literally drayton you literally said that as i said it <laughs> honestly we are so in tune tonight bubbles we really are <laughs> we are all on the same page love it yes i think tom bowers book did her some serious damage i think she has just tried to do damage damage limitation where she's gone out and done this uh these podcasts this this cut baloney um and in in a way to try and change the narrative but it's failed it's failed because she's just made herself look so much worse so much worse um Scrap of kindness. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's so kind of you. Ham Shackleton, hey. Um, you watched Ham, you haven't you haven't missed. Unfortunately, Trev didn't make it tonight. I think bless him, he's fallen asleep. He's gonna be really annoyed tomorrow. I know he is. Um, it's it's one of those uh it's the bulbs fuse. I don't know, no, I don't I don't work well. I say I don't know. I, I have well, I'm not an electrician, I don't know. You could be right. Um it's it's one of these ones. Da -da -da. Um, it's just died on me. It's just died. Um, so now I'm sitting in darkness. And I know tomorrow, I know, I'll tell you what's going to happen tomorrow. I will go on tomorrow and I will see comment after comment going, why is it so dark? Why are you so dark? <laughs> I know I'm going to get it. <laughs> um, yes, give Tom Bow. I agree. Give Tom Bow a knighthood. He has done what a lot of us have wanted to see done. You know, we have wanted to see a lot of the truth coming out. Jeannie Walsh, thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Um, don't forget, guys, if you give if you give a super sticker, stick a question on there as well. Because as much as I will answer questions anyway, but you know, utilize if you're going to do the super sticker, at least utilize it and get a question in there. Um, Pearl James, hi Ems, do you think Megan was jealous of Diana who had a photo taken with Mandela? Yes, of course, of course. She needed to eclipse everything. That's exactly how a narcissist worked. Um, Ems, I know why it's dark, saving on them. <laughs> See, thank you, Karma, you're right. See, <laughs> that's what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget 692 of you in the in the in the uh uh yeah, I was about saying the chat you know i don't know you might not all be in the chat but on the video so please give it a thumbs up guys because it really does help the um 
algorithm. Lisa K, we still love you even in the dark. I think a lot of people might even prefer me in the dark. <laughs> um, I know, Trevor's parent. We, well, I think we are. Um, oh, yeah. You know, oh, I have got, look, I have got. Ooh. <laughs> We're going to stick that. Uh, I can't stick it anywhere. That's the only problem. <laughs> that doesn't look like anything. Uh, oh, no. Don't. Are you, no. What is going on? No. Oh, I actually thought my light had gone off then. <laughs> we'll just sit here. <laughs> Oh, well, I, I, I don't really know what I can do. It's not what it's just, I'll just shine that. Oh, there's a little bit, there's a little bit of light. <laughs> it's Halloween. <laughs> um, Tom Bauer, I knew, do you know what? I knew Tom Bauer had a lot more to tell. I, I, I he said that, didn't he? And he, he didn't, uh, either he didn't get the okay or what was it that he, had to fact check a lot more things so i believe that as soon as he started fact fact checking things he will put more information out and i do believe that cherry i've just i've just done it i hope you saw it <laughs> oh scout okay dark lighting is better that's good to know you can't, I'm getting spooked, yeah. Somebody's here. It's like, it does look like we're in a seance. <laughs> Archetype, Merchy tripe. <laughs> um, Caroline, hey. Um, Avid Gardener, just cooking with Meg's <laughs> Um. Oh, it's nice to see you, Caroline. I love Halloween too. I love Halloween too. We celebrate it a bit more here now. Uh, what is M's short for? It's short for Emma. It's it's short for Emma. Loose lips sink ships. I very much agree. Oh, in the I saw somewhere that the US edition will have an extra. What? What? What about? Hey, what about good old Britain? Where's that? That's not fair. <laughs> uh yes he couldn't verify very oh my gosh i can't get my words out i am so not liking the menopause it's so not funny um we will all be doing that this winter i know there's rumors of we're gonna have power cuts so get your candles ready guys we're gonna have power cuts what happened to murky uh she had uh, an operation so she took some time out so to recover which she is doing and but she's come back she did a video yesterday so if you haven't seen that go across and check it out it's really good ah oh, it's a tourist thing i call my daughter ems do you ah oh, i bet is she lovely i bet she is yeah tom bow i and i bet i bet that uh old uh rachel is a is panicking a little bit because if she will see what he's released in this book can you imagine what she's thinking of what he might have kind of tucked away there for a rainy day? Buy yourself a wood stove ASAP, guys. Yes, I would agree with I would agree with that. I don't know how expensive they are. Where are you, Rufus? Where are you from? Because uh, over here, they're, mm, I don't know, maybe about 400, three, 400 pounds, maybe, maybe a bit less. You can probably get some second hand. Nookie Bear, hey, Nookie Bear, haven't seen you for a while. Where have you been at? Um, yes, she she was really quite poorly. Then she had an op, and so then she was obviously recovering. But she's she's back. She's back with a new. Have you seen? The, uh, I don't know actually that with the, her jingle at the the front. Have you seen that? It's really cool. I like a little jingle on her her um big, beginning bit of her video. <clears throat> No, just boozy hand. Oh, oh, he's he, yeah. Well, oh, 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 he's he's yeah, boring. Yes, even in primrose oil. I was talking to one of my clients today actually, and she is uh, going into the the menopause. And I said to her, so even in primrose oil, starflower oil, black cohosh. Thanks to you, lovely people. And um, was it vitamin B six and B twelve? 
I think, I think, I think, I think. Um, oh, yeah, so we don't really, I mean, we obviously we do have generators here, but most of the houses don't have, have generators. She's a star. Oh, I'm, I bet she is. Jacqueline, do you think she ever used the word swimmingly before the podcast? Um, swimmingly, because that's a British thing as well, isn't it? I haven't heard, have you, has anyone heard her say that? Because that's a very bizarre thing to say for, for is it, it's not really an American term, is it? You don't say that. But thank you for the five. Thank you for the uh, super chat, Jacqueline. Double up on bed throws. Yes. Oh, you know, I nearly was just about to say, get yourself an electric blanket. That's not going to work, is it? <laughs> um, yes, Marge, she is. She's doing so much better. The past of Doris, Sylvia, the past of Doris is one of the fears of Megan. Yeah, and I think this is why, this is why I believe Doria got that, suddenly got that money. And I think this is why Doria was on the in and Thomas was on the out. Because Doria, unfortunately, I'm going to be honest, is very similar to Megan. So Megan learned a lot of her tricks from Doria. So if anyone could be bought, so to speak, it would be Doria. So Thomas, I believe, even though... Um, there's been all this thing, these things said about him. I do think actually he's probably quite an integral person. So I don't believe that she said to him, look, we need to lie about this, this, that and the other. And he would have gone, yeah, OK, then I don't think he would have done. And I think she would have known that. So this is why I think those two were in cahoots. But I also think Doria is out now. I think there is something that's not quite right about this Doria situation. And I, it's, I don't think that she's around anymore. solar generator um jerry murky wasn't missing my lovely she's just she just took time out but she wasn't well but she's back now um yes there i think there's been some serious hiding going on i think there's been a lot of stuff going on get a onesie uh, do you know, I have to say, I, I did buy my, no, I didn't buy myself one. I got given a onesie is it a couple of years ago and I looked like a Teletubby. I honestly look like a Teletubby. It's the most, they are, <laughs> they are the most unflattering. And then you've got to go toilet. It's like, if you, if you bust into go toilet, try and do that jigging around where you get, and then you get the zip stuck and then it just becomes a whole mess. So I, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I just can't do it. <laughs> Toes toasties. Oh, oh, toast big thermal knickers. Lida, I wear those already. <laughs> I, wear, I wear big thermals already. <laughs> they are a pain to pee in. They are. It's I, I literally would get the zip stuck and, and I'd end up like almost like peeing my onesie. It's like I feel like I'm a baby again. It's like it's not attractive. Hence why I'm single. <laughs> Kerry, now she'll be glad silver lining. My, yeah. Oh, see, Kerry, now, now I get it. I am going into the winter with menopause. I'm going to be so warm, but everyone else is freezing. I'm going to be so warm. That's great. Yay. A plus side to the menopause. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> cuddle duds. Oh, what's a cuddle dud? I have an Arthur. I have an Arthur. He keeps my feet toasty. <laughs> Damart is the website to go for for thermals. Oh, okay, Anna. I will. I will look that up. I will put that in the descript box. Is that an, is that an American company or is that an English one? Because I've not heard of it. Long underwear and undershirts. We say here. <laughs> Woolies, blankets. Absolutely. Uh, Sonia, did I see the real Thomas Michael Jr.'s video? Yes, I have. He's he's going for it, isn't he? I don't blame him at all. I do not blame him. He has had enough. And I think the least the, the, the rest of us can do is what we're doing by calling her Rachel. Um, because I, I saw the video where he said, you know, you don't deserve this name. And I, and I do agree. I do agree. Um, I may not always um agree with certain things on certain videos and that's okay but i i do agree with 
what he's been through, his family have been through, his father, and the fact that she doesn't deserve the right to the name, his father's name, um, because of the way she's treated them. Um, oh, Denmark is a UK company, is it? Why have I not heard of this? Chick magnet. What's a chick magnet? Apart from what the, I obviously think a chick magnet is. I made flannel floor length sweatshirts to wear. You made them tuppence. That's very creative. No, Christine. No, no, no. We cannot call her the diva of I, this Sussex is where I live. We need a new we can we call her the diva of Monta Shit Show. Um we, we cannot call her the diva of Sussex because Sussex is where I live. She is banned from using on this bubble channel. We will not use the name. That's why we do not call them the thingy squad. We call them the either the cult squad or something else. Not that. Not that. So, Christy, we've got to find a new name. Chip Magnet is... A, is oh, okay. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry. Okay. Uh where did Dory get thousands from? I think you'll find, Helen, that it might have been millions. Um, and there's rumours that it was a, a, it was given to her by Megan. Rumours. Um, but there are also rumours that she had gone back inside for tax evasion. But again, rumours. Don't know. Don't know. It's all very hush-hush. Kathleen, it's 8.50 here in South Africa. Oh, gosh, is it cold? Have you got into winter there then, Kathleen? Um, what do the people in Sussex think about their titles? They are not liked here. They they don't want to be associated. We don't want to be associated at all. Um, and I think this is why we a lot of us are so angry because they just, they don't deserve to have these titles they don't thank you disba um yes absolutely we hate it um everyone i've spoken to i haven't spoken to one person that has said anything positive about them I, we have people that don't care one way or the other and and there are people that don't like them i haven't spoken to anybody uh, in the beginning maybe but certainly not now certainly not now Grifter of Mont... Yes, I think that's a better one. Grifter of Montashitska. Oh, Anna, you're a Sussex girl too. Oh, we got some Sussex people here. Gil, you're from Sussex. Yay. Woo, Sussex. Go Sussex. They are traitors. Absolutely they are. They really are. Um, Helen, yeah, we're all saying the same thing, Helen. Just couldn't get it down quick enough. And especially as you get older, when you just really do need to go. When you've got to go, you've got to go. <laughs> Um, do you believe, Vinny says, do you believe me again is psychotic, delusional and mad? Um, I don't necessarily think she's mad. I think she's psychotic. I think she's a sociopath and she has, and I do believe she has narcissistic personality disorder. Uh, she's very calculated. She believes, I think she knows what she's doing, um, albeit that she, she believes that she's the perpetual victim and it's everybody else. Oh, I know Burgess Hill. That's not that far from me. Um, she believes she's the, the 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 permanent victim in everything. It's everybody else's everybody else's fault. Um, Bookworm Two is in South Africa. Yeah, I like her. She's she's really good. She's really good, um, and she's she's got a lot of good information. I can't sleep. yeah I can't sleep in bed socks either. So I wear those ones um, where you because I I put cream on my feet obviously because my feet where I'm because I'm I'm terrible. I walk around in barefoot a lot. So my heels get very hot. I have hard skin. So I put those heel, is it heel socks? Because I can't have anything on my toes. It drives me nuts. So I put those heel socks on um, and do that. And that really helps. That does help. Um, she has, Sophie, she has what I call shark eyes. You know, when you look at a shark, I mean, this is no disrespect to sharks. So I think sharks are lovely creatures, but it's the same you know, if you look at sociopaths and psychopaths, they, to me, they either have those really, really dark brown eyes where they almost look black or they have that steely grey blue um, that almost like pierce your soul. That it's almost like they have two types of, uh, of, of a look. They just have that, the black eyes, dark brown that look like black and the ones that look... Um, Socket squad. Can we socket to them squad? Socket squad. Yeah, I like that. Socket squad. 
Um, Ibble Dibble, yes, I did put, uh, I think I put her up on one of my videos in the description box. It's very good. Uh, I'll put her in the description box again. Yes, go across and give her a watch. She's very good, actually. Um, I'm really sorry, but what the flip, me being polite, Mary, oh, sorry, I'm reading something that I don't, probably jumped in on something that I don't know what that is. Uh, Salt Dean. Oh, yeah, I know Salt Dean, Anna. That's literally because my, my parents live in Lansing, so that's that's not far at all. Sussex by the sea, like that. Oh, Essex. Yeah, that's not far at all. Oh, oh sure. Um, uh, my nan, Sharon, she used to live in Southwick before she passed away. Bless her. Southwick. So not, not far at all. Um. Please take back. Yes, yeah, Sylvia, be nice, wouldn't it? But then I think this is why she's doing the princess thing. I really do. I think she's trying to put this out there to see if people will start calling her a princess. Oh, gosh. It's so tedious and arduous, honestly. It really is. Ah, oh, Scout, my mum was from Sussex. She passed August last year. Oh, really? Oh, and I am sorry. That is, yeah, that's sad when it's, your, when it's, uh, it's sad when it's anyone, but when it's your mum, yeah. So she was a Sussex lady. <laughs> Some of their eyes look like how a person would look if they put their finger in the electric socket. <laughs> um, karma, Ibble, Ibble Dibble, um, oh, I've not seen that other one, so I, I can't, uh, M Sociopathic Squad, yeah absolutely i did call them i did call them the cult squad once but unfortunately um people not the cult uh the cults no the, the hyena squad but a lot of people liked hyenas and said that wasn't fair to them which i would agree um so the cult squad let's call them the cult squad um at least i'm not hiding in my drink tonight with trevor Oh, you went to King's Manor, Sharon. Oh, wow. Yeah, my, my nan literally lived across the road in that block of flats. How bizarre. Rustington Finn. Oh, my gosh. Such a small world. Isn't it funny? You know, you talk to people and you think, you know, that you talk to people all over the world and it's amazing. But then you, oh, Yorkshire. Yeah, I've got family um, that live in Skipton, Helen. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's so funny how the world becomes so much smaller when you, when you talk to people. Do I think she, uh, Z yes, I do, Zaki, five. I do absolutely think she faked her pregnancies. Absolutely. There's, uh, as uh, I'm sure anyone that has, well, to be fair, no, it's anyone with a pair of eyes can see that she faked these pregnancies. But anyone who's been pregnant can definitely see that she faked because you cannot, and I don't care what anyone says, you cannot bend down with your legs together, your knees together when you're eight months pregnant. Not possible. You can bend down maybe if your legs are completely apart, but she's there's pictures of her bending down with her knees together. Um, Mary, no, unfortunately, Trev couldn't make it tonight because he uh, he was meant to be on but I think he's he was having a little sleep beforehand and I think he probably didn't hear his alarm or he forgot to put an alarm on. Um, so unfortunately, he's not he's not here tonight. So it's just little old me. But we've not done bad, right? Because at one point we had 700 people in the chat. So we've not done bad at all. Not done bad at all. Um, so please, guys, don't forget to give it a like if you like this video. Or if you don't, then that's okay too. That's okay too. Um, and she says she waddled in the Serena podcast. Yeah, she's honestly, she's, she's such, such a liar. Um, and that's why I think we kept getting the moon. Do you know, she was flashing the moon bump when she kept flashing her coat. Do you know what I think that was? I think that was her basically saying, look, you, nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. I'm going into a hot, I'm going into a hot flush. Oh, Lordy. Um, I think that's why we kept getting the, the, the moon bumps because it wasn't like you couldn't see because um, her, her bump was large, but she kept flashing it. And I think it was it was literally to the to the media, to the royal family. It was literally like there's nothing you can do. Nothing. I'm just going to show this um, and there's nothing you can do. Um, 
Oh, karma. Is it is it cold up there? Is it cold up there now? Uh, Devil's Disciples. Yeah. The, the flying monkeys. That is the, is actually. Yeah, Sherry, it is. That's so funny, you know, because when I when I was on Twitter, I got into a bit of a thing with one of one of them. And I said, you're literally a flying monkey. And they just went, you're racist. You're racist. And I was like, no, it's an actual term. They're like, no, you're calling me a monkey. It's racist. And I'm like, oh, uh, absolutely ridiculous. No, no. Um, but yeah, it's like, you're, 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 but that is actual term, flying monkey. And I believe it actually come from the Wizard of Oz. I think that's where the term was derived from, the Wizard of Oz, when the Wicked Witch of the West sent out her monkeys flying to do her bidding. And I think that's where it was coined from, I believe. Yeah, Joe, exactly. No chance. Eight months pregnant, bending down with knees together. Not a chance. Um, Sharon, I live in Ireland. Oh, my, my, a lot of my family come from Ireland. I'm half Irish, so I, yeah. Um, do you think she wore a bit of padding afterwards? Now, the thing is, now a lot of people said, why is it that she looked like she put on weight? One simple thing, hormone injections. If you give yourself, um, you can give yourself hormone injections or um, I think uh, there is something, a fluid that you can inject that creates, uh, you can, in, is it like to create like water retention? There is something that you can do to, and let's face it, she's, she's a celebrity. Well, she sort of is a celebrity, but that wasn't what I meant. She's an, she's a sort of actress. So she would know about all these tricks of the trade. She would know about these things, um, about how to look like you to put on a bit of weight for a, a film or a TV show or whatever. I think that she saw uh, the social media. She saw that people were saying she's not putting any weight. She's still looking a bit skinny. And so she's like, OK, I'm going to put weight. I'm just going to give myself something to put some weight on that's what i think i think that's what she's been doing um because her face did look fuller but i think i think that's exactly what she's doing i think she gave herself something celeb yeah she's a celebrity in her own mind absolutely um scouts on it although i'm in california i love to go to england as much as possible i have a sister in Minehead and a brother in brighton oh brighton brighton is literally about 20 minutes from me Yes, Kate, that's exactly it. The flying monkeys from the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, exactly. Uh, once this new law passed as a remove of the titles, the government, royal family, they must have something in place. That are not yes, and I'm wondering if they're waiting for the new MP to, the, uh, to be um, put in. And I think, I think things are going to happen. I really do. Um, uh, Jerry, J yes, I think Archie's, I do think he's real. I think an, uh, um, a surrogate has him. And that's why we saw a child at the beginning. I think that that is what, who the child was. I think, but I think then, then I believe then the child had to stay in the UK and, um, they obviously skedaddled off to, uh, America. This is what I, this is what I think. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Oh, yes, Michael, when the Cambridges go to the States, they will absolutely. Now, we will see. We will see them as if they, she will go all out. There is no way she's going to let that visit go without making it about her somewhere. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. Sumi is great. Yeah, she she is. She's lovely. Um Joe, we don't care about light. I know. I'm just. I feel really bad that I'm sitting here in the dark, and I just know because I'm going to get it tomorrow. I'm going to get people go. Why did you not have the light on? <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, because they can't see the. I don't think they can see these comments. I don't know. Can they see these comments? Actually, you know when I. You know when I put this up on the on the YouTube. After, do you see the comments that have been made in this chat, or do they disappear? Because I I never know that actually. I never, um, I never look. Donna, exactly. She, you, there's no way that you can say that if she was pregnant or if, even if she had children, A, she would behave as, as a mother behaves and she doesn't. Um, she, you know, she slips up in various, like even in this uh, interview, she talks about um, children calling her a princess, but she doesn't mention her own children you know it's like you you say you know i want to do this for my own children or or 
or be a good role model. But she, she talks about being a good role model for other people's children, not her own children. So they don't behave like they don't behave like parents. They really don't. <clears throat> I want my lady C to write another book. Yeah. Um, I went to Most Haunted. I went to a Most Haunted recently at Michelin Priory and I saw, I met, um, oh, now I'm going to forget. Um, who's uh, Annette, uh, Yvette Fielding's husband? What's his name? Is it Carl, Be Carl Beatty? Yeah, I met him and Stuart somebody, Stuart somebody, and I met them and um, that it was it was very interesting. I was sort of fascinated by a lot of different things, really. Oh, the live chat comments are available 24 hours later. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, Trev was going for an Italian about 5.15. He probably has. He probably has had too many pints and he's laid down on the bed for a kip and <laughs> and not woken back up. But you know what? It's okay. We've held our own tonight. We have... Kyle, Kyle Bestie. <laughs> um, we have held our own tonight. Um, Gerald, you're very welcome. And no, of course, you wouldn't want to be overshadowed by anybody. Um... <laughs> UK is most sort of, they do, I, if, Yeah, you're right. Yvette screams at everything. It's hilarious. Um, but I will say we did have stuff happen. Um, I'm, I'm one of these people that I like to see it before I believe it. And we did have stuff happen. So we had, uh, cause I went with my son, Tristan, and we had a very interesting, um, where the spirit box, if you want to believe this type of stuff, if you don't, it's fine. But, um, Tristan's name come up, um, uh, what else? couple of other things yeah just a couple of other things come up and then there was yeah just some other things it was very it's was, it was very interesting um laurie yeah you're right they are only talked about one at a time it's very it's just very bizarre just very bizarre and there's no merching now we know we know oh bye deborah thank you very much thank you um we know that um, she's she's a narcissist. So we also know that she would be merching those children, clothing lines, you name it, they would do it. She just did a photo shoot for this magazine. Why does she not have a photo shoot with, with her children? She, um, not only that, there was when Serena uh, Williams did uh, the um, interview with her on the podcast, there's a picture of Rachel standing with Serena and Serena's daughter. But yet, would that not have been the per perfect opportunity to stand there with her own daughter as well? You know, two generations of young girl plus their mothers. Nothing, nothing, because she's not there. She's not there. Um, they're not seen because they're not there. I don't believe they have these children at all, at all. Ham Shackleton, Yvette Field, and my wife used to call her screaming Evie. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, your wife. Sorry, I thought you... Okay, I had to take a minute then because I thought you meant Yvette Fielding was over the other side. I was like, what? What? She passed away? But I figure, Ham Shackleton, you're meaning your, your wife. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, Merching a soggy nappy for Archie was about all... Yeah, yeah. Ah, um, uh, okay, okay. Um... Yes, Erin, Elrin, I, yes, I, I absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. It's all very telling, all of it. Um, all of it. It's, it's just, yeah, I, I don't believe for a teeny tiny millisecond that those children are with them. We never see them out as a family. Isn't that telling? This whole thing, and this is why I think she had to say this in the interview, where she says, um, uh, we get hounded by by paps when we take Archie to school. Um, where where's the pictures then? Where's the pictures? You're telling me these paps because the whole point of of paps taking photographs is to get money. 
they sell the photographs. So where are they then? Because if they're not getting paid, they wouldn't be there. What's the point of going and taking a photograph and then you don't get paid for it? What's the point of that for your personal personal collection? It's like, where's, where are, the, where are the, these alleged photographs that she says that everyone is, is taking? And then uh, apparently they can't go to school in the UK because of the of the press. Well, only two, is it two press on the first day of school, only two press are allowed to go in and take official photographs. Um, so they are more protected over here than they would be over there. So that is absolute BS, absolute BS. I mean, I'm not being funny, but you've got the, the future king and queen can take their children to school and they're personally taking them to school. Of course they, of course they could if they were if they were real. It's like phantom casper children yeah Jean, yeah we've got a picture of his foot it could have been right get anyone anyone's foot it's like grab that off the internet dolls gone the dolls have gone back in boxes i know and a lot of people do still get irritated about the doll theory and and i understand that but i'm sorry but when she did that pat walk in canada there is no way that you can say that was a real child a real child's leg does not flop around like that and it has weight to it and there was no weight on that harness and ah, no not a chance there was definitely a doll in that harness and i and i'm sorry but i even but i even think that there was there was a possibly a doll in that where they did the photo very first photograph where they brought um Murchie out for everyone to well not everyone because they wouldn't let the photographers get close they were kind of protecting the face. It was it was just very weird. And Harry's thumb was pressed quite hard into the child's arm. Who does that with a newborn child? Who does that? Um, Joe, exactly. They they think we're stupid, but the problem is, is she gets away, she's got away with it. And I think that's why she did it, because she knew she knew she could get away with it because there is some kind of either NDA or some something that is telling the British press or whoever they cannot talk about it. They cannot publish it because I'm sorry, but when you're doing nothing, when you've got the press saying nothing really about the children, because if the children were real, the press would be not ridiculing them, but they would be making, they would be saying a few comments. They would be saying things like, oh, we don't see much of Archie or we don't see much of Lily. But there's nothing which says to me that they're not allowed to say anything about these children. So I do not. Yeah, the cry button. I think it was a breathing button. I think it was a button to do the breathing. And I know this sounds like a conspiracy theory, but I'm sorry. That's exactly what I think. Exactly what I think. Yeah, Anna. Yeah, absolutely. Two dogs in her hand whilst um, a harness that doesn't even look like it's attached properly because the one of it's slipping off. Um, it's yeah, it, it's it's not. I'm sorry, but a, a, a mum doesn't would not hold her child like this. You know, she wasn't even supporting the child's head. It's a newborn baby. It's a baby that's not very old and she wasn't even supporting the child's head very well. Um, so, no, I'm sorry. I don't I don't believe it. Don't believe it. Um, Brenda, Netflix should do a series of reinventing Rachel. Yeah, I think that would do quite well. Kerry Nash, the, and that's and that is it. The dolls are very real looking. These those real baby dolls that you can get, they are very real looking, and that's why I think is it called the Darren doll or something along those lines and I and I'm sure that this video is probably going to get slated tomorrow but you know what I don't care it's my opinion and I I don't care um Belinda it, uh well I don't, I don't know if I necessarily think she she is but um Belinda but I think she's she's almost becoming the head of one that's for sure Karma Collective, Megan is a method actress. If the doll is real, it's a real child. Yeah, if, yeah basically, if Megan says it so, it is. Yeah. And the Queen appeared to have on the same clothes in the Archie photo, the same clothes she wore in it. Um, Roseanne, I think that photo was photoshopped. I don't know for sure. Maybe somebody else can clarify that. Um, but I think when that circulated, somebody proved that it was a photo, not the, not the picture, um of 
the queen with Archie, but I think the queen with the horse with the same, I think that was the one that was photoshopped. I might be wrong, but I think I saw that. Um, but the christening photograph, that was photoshopped. Um, that was proven. And it was just very weird that you only just got these couple of photographs out of it. You didn't really get, you know, you look at the difference between that and the other christenings that have been had. It's it was just very weird, very weird, the whole thing. Uh Jeannie, yes, unfortunately the race the racist card is very real, and I think that's a lot. But I wonder if that's gonna be as real now. It'd be interesting to see what happens now because she can't use that now because she's gone after South Africans and she's mentioned mentioned now. So that blows that out of the water completely. I don't think she's going to have as much clout as what she used to have. Um, I, I really don't. I think this has really gone downhill for her, massively downhill. Carol, they do look very real. It's, it is very scary, very scary how real they look. Um, yes, that's exactly it. We know we call her Rachel Raglan now. Oh, Paula, did they? They called they called her racist. Really? Ouch. Ouch. That's got to hurt. That's got to hurt. Um, yeah, for anyone that's leaving, um, if I've missed your comment, um, good night and thank you very much for joining us here. Don't forget to give you this a thumbs up on the way out if you if you if you feel like it. You don't have to, um, but if you feel like it. Um, Diane, I think you've been spot on. Um, well, you know, it is, it's absolutely just an opinion, but thank you. It's just an opinion. I, 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 I will be the first. If, if true, if something comes out that proves me wrong, I'll be the first person to say I was wrong and I'm sorry. But um, I, I and we and the thing is, if we're all sort of thinking the same, then there's something to that. There is something to that. Angela, really enjoyed the stream tonight. Oh, well, thank you, my lovely. Thank you so much for joining me here. That's, uh, we're well, joining us here, not me, us. Um, thank you. Joe, can we see Arthur, please? Um, I I think he's gone out with Tristan, actually. He's not here tonight, um, I think, because I heard my son go out earlier. So I think he's gone out with him, but he, he will be around and I will bring him on the next live, Joe. So don't worry. Um, Gerald, love to visit England. You should come and visit England. Ah, oh, Jen, love you too. Thank you very much. Spotify bought all the subscribers. <laughs> of course they did. Of course they did. Oh, it's reached Fiji, has it? Oh, how exciting. Scouts honour everything from a fake pregnancy to it being fake. Yeah, yeah. It's just, I mean, the fact that like I say there, there's pictures of her, her stomach being squashed and uh, her belly moving from side to side. It was it's just uh, it's just very bizarre. Caroline Allen, how's the Queen's health? Is she Is she back at Windsor? Um, I think she is, but we're not seeing too much of her at the minute, um, which, you know, it's, it's the first time in the history of ever um, the prime minister is going to visit her um rather than she coming to visit the prime minister and at buckingham palace and he's coming he's actually flying up to her so he the new well he or she the new prime minister will fly up they will be introduced to the queen she they will obviously talk then she will ask him about taking over the government um, and and leading the country and he will he or she will say yes and then old uh doris will step down and there we have it um, but other than that, she's definitely scaled back a lot more, um, bless her, but I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's difficult to say. Does it, did, we, we're not really being told a lot. Um, I mean, apparently she's still got all her faculties, which you can imagine. It's just her, I guess her body is just not doing what it, what it would normally do. And it's barren moral. That's it. Thank you. I'm sorry. Honestly, I cannot this is terrible i'm not going to lie this this menopause thing is absolutely ridiculous um yes zephyr you're right it's bound moral just just ignore anything i'm saying because it's clearly oh it's just the menopause i can't remember anything it's ridiculous um it honestly is <laughs> um where oh wow. 
I'm sorry, I'm just going back because I feel like I've missed some comments. Alison, just wanted to say that I love your channel and live commentaries always makes, ah, oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. And you're all cool too. I, I read the comments. Michael, thank you for joining in. Thank you for uh, being here tonight. Oh, 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 uh, oh, mad scabies. Can't stand him either. He's he's just her lap dog. He's just her lap dog. She's a very insecure little man. Um, she, miss, miss, no, she's not a very good actress at all. Um, I'm a Gemini. Scout's on a, you're Taurus. I'm a Gemini. My mum's a Taurus. Oh, Nookie Bear, you're going through it as well. Oh, I feel your pain. I'm, I'm literally sitting here sweating. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I'm not allowed to say sweating, am I? You tell me off. Glowing. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I'm I'm heating up. Anna Perkins, you're a Gemini. Ah, oh, fellow Gemini. Mine's the 15th. Fellow Gemini. My son is, uh, my son is, one of my sons is Virgo. The other one is Capricorn. Um... Mum, my dad is, I think my dad's Capricorn and my mum, Taurus. Yeah, Marcus has been very quiet, hasn't he? Um, oh, my mum is a Leo. Oh, my God. See? 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 You're right. My mum is Leo because she's August. <laughs> I don't think I'm anyone in my family is a Taurus. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Uh, I'm apparently I get on. I'm supposed to get on very well with Libras, Donna. So that's a good thing. Um, how comes he thinks he's a journalist for the? I, I generally don't know. I, I yet yeah, karma. Yes, I have. I have two sons, Tristan and Kyle. Um, I, yeah, I have two sons. Uh, Tristan is the one that's just had his birthday recently, and Kyle is the one that used to come on the channel with me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you, <laughs> Mary. Thank you. Honestly, this is terrible. This is terrible. Kurt, you're a fellow Gemini. Yay. Fifth, 25th too, May. Um, yeah, Libras, Libras are good. Uh, Kate, thank you very much, my lovely. Thank you for joining us here. Um, yes, the royal family has changed. He's not, yeah, he's not a journalist. A journalist, um, it it's, is is kind of neutral. It might it might have an opinion on things, but they you know to be a royal journalist, you know you you speak uh, generally about the royal family in a generally good light. I mean, you might talk about things that have come up, and you might have an uh, you know you might put an opinion out on that, but you're not biased. And he's very very biased. He's very biased, and he's definitely her mouthpiece. There's no two which way to, ways about it. Um. <laughs> Taurus, I've turned into a horoscope live. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all over the place. We just talk about whatever here, whatever here. Shan Gums, Gums, I love your YouTube videos. Here in the DMV in America, Boozy and Omid Scooby Doo have this. Oh, I missed that. It's gone up too quick. Have the same mindset. Yes, they do, and they will flock together. They will flock together. So people with narcissistic tendencies will flock together with people that with not because they're friends, but because they will be using and utilizing each other, and that's that's all they do. That's all they do. Um, yes, I had see, I had a friend who was a Taurus. Now that that's a fact. That's not me making that up. That is fact. And yes, he's lovely, lovely guy. Really down to earth. But as soon as, but if you got him on a wrong day, whoo, did you know about it? <laughs> oh, Carol, I wait for the day. I wait for the day when my hot hot flushes are over. Uh, Anne, thank you, my lovely. Thank you. Um, yes, join. Watch the rest tomorrow. Um, right. So we, I've been on for an hour and a half now, everybody. Um, and, and people are obviously they are starting to go scouts on a thank you very much i i appreciate i appreciate everyone's opinions here um yeah nookie bear he's he's definitely a strange little man um strange little man um karma i tell you who i clash with i i clash with um uh scorpios scorpios and me scorpio don't get on very well um and I clash with my youngest. He's a Virgo, and I clash with him sometimes. 
because <laughs> um, he's a bit stubborn. I love him, but he's stubborn. Um, um, Mary, thank you very much for joining us. Well, yes, gosh, if you have a four-year-old, I don't blame you. Um, Lisa K, oh, bless your heart. Um, I am going to go off now, though. So I will be doing the part four tomorrow. I will upload that tomorrow, everybody. So that is going to be there if you want to go and watch that. If you haven't seen the other three, they go and check them out. Um, are you like, I just want to ask, are you liking the fact that I'm injecting a little bit of humor? Because I've always been a bit not sure whether to do that, being as a, being a therapist and being a, trying to be sensible. And um, But I've noticed that I've done kind of these things and a bit of humor and you seem to be quite liking this. Um, so is this a, a winning formula, do you think, guys, just before you go? Is the injecting a bit of humor into things, is this a winning formula? Um, okay, good, 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 good. Okay, just so I know, just so I know. Um, yeah, I mean, Diane, I know humor is good, but I think with my videos, because I've been a certain way, I just want to, I just want to ask you guys if that, uh, Sherry, you're a, <laughs> you're a loner though. Yeah, I trust me, I understand that. I do. Um, yeah, and I agree. And I think, let's be honest, when we're talking about Rachel, we need a bit of humor, right? So, uh, Okay, so that's that's good. I will do a bit of humour. That's that's excellent. All right, my lovelies. Well, thank you so much. I am again really sorry that Trev didn't join us tonight. Um, I I'll be giving him a ear bashing tomorrow. <laughs> I won't. But uh, but I think we've had a successful live. Just us. We did it. Woo. Um. So I will see you in tomorrow's video. And I love you all. You know this, and I appreciate you. But most of all. What do I do? I respect you. Mwah. So take care, Bubble family, and I'll see you in the video tomorrow. Bye.